In this video, I'm going to try to describe how to power a frog using a turnout switch machine. I've been asked numerous times over the past few years to explain how I power my frogs. And I've tried to touch on it in a few videos. But I decided I'm going to make this dedicated video to try to explain how I wire up my frogs through switch machines. I'm going to use the Blue Point switch machine and the Tortoise switch machine as examples because those are the turnout switch machines that I've used and I'm familiar with. Although I think any turnout switch machine is going to be similar. I'm going to try to describe how to do this as best I can. I think if you follow the current path for the electrical signal, it becomes easier to understand. A digital multimeter is extremely handy for doing this. It's not impossible to do it without it, but if you have a digital multimeter, your chances of success are just about 100%. Because you can verify your wiring before you ever put a locomotive across the turnout. I'm going to be using drawings that I made up in paint. I hope that they're easy to follow. Doing this wiring, we'll need to be using DCC friendly turnouts with insulated frogs. And here in this illustration, I have the frog highlighted in red. You need to have your switch machine installed and you need to have your switch machine in the position so that the turnout is set for normal traffic. I'm assuming your track, including the turnout, is wired to your track bus. I have the track bus labeled A and B. The A is gray, the B is blue. That is simply to distinguish between the two leads of your track bus. In this example, with a right-hand turnout, with the turnout set to the normal route, the frog would be on rail B. We have our conditions set. We have the track bus wired to the track. Our right-hand turnout is in the normal route. So now connect a wire from the frog to the common post of the switch machine switch. With the blue point switch machine, terminal number two is common and terminal number five is common. So you're going to want to connect your frog wire to either Terminal 2 or Terminal 5. If you connect your frog wire to Terminal 2 of the Blue Point switch machine, you then have to use Terminal 1 and Terminal 3. If you connect your frog wire to Terminal 5 on the Blue Point switch machine, you have to use Terminals 4 and terminal 6. With the tortoise switch machine, terminal 4 and terminal 5 are common. If you connect your frog wire to terminal 4 on the tortoise switch machine, you have to use terminals 2 and terminals 3. If you connect your frog wire to terminal 5 on the tortoise switch machine, you have to connect your rails to terminal 6 and terminal 7. You have to have your switch machine installed, and you have to have your switch machine set so that the turnout is in the normal route. And your frog wire is connected to the common terminal of the switch. Now set your digital multimeter to ohms and if you have a multimeter that beeps when you short the leads 
It's really handy. Otherwise, you're going to have to look at the display and look for a reading near zero ohms. So now what you want to do is touch one of your digital multimeter leads to the common terminal and then touch one of the other terminals to find out which one has continuity with the common terminal. We know the frog in the normal route is on rail B because that's how it's wired to our track bus. And we've identified the terminal on the switch that makes continuity with the common terminal that's wired to the frog. And now we want to wire the terminal that makes continuity with the common terminal wired to the frog to the B leg of the track bus. And now, when the turnout is in the normal position, the frog is going to get power from the B leg of the track bus. Now that we know how the frog is wired for the normal route, we can just take the remaining bus wire from A and wire it to the other switch terminal. In this example, with a right-hand turnout, with the turnout set to the diverging route, the frog is now on rail A. With our wiring unchanged, with the switch machine changed to the diverging route, the switch in the switch machine changes electrical contact to rail A. And so now there is continuity between the frog and rail A. And so rail A is powering the frog when the turnout is set to the diverging route. With our track bus and track wired exactly the same as with the right hand turnout, you can see with the left hand turnout, when the turnout is in the normal route, the frog is on rail A. Just like with the right hand turnout, the frog is wired to the common terminal of the switch machine switch. Just like the example for the right hand turnout, with the left hand turnout in the normal route and the frog wire connected to the common terminal, we're going to want to use our multimeter to find the terminal on the switch that has continuity with the common terminal. And the terminal that has continuity with the common terminal is going to be connected to the track bus A lead. And once the A lead is connected to the switch machine switch, then you just connect the remaining terminal to the B track bus wire. When the left hand turnout is set to the diverging route, the frog will change to rail B. The switch machine switch changes to the rail B terminal and the rail B bus wire now powers the frog. I hope this video has been helpful to you. 
I've had 100% success powering my frogs this way. So I want to thank you for watching. And I hope you come back and check out the channel. Thanks again for watching.